you can actually make a difference by putting in these natural flood management methods. But using a, a, a common cycling term that seems to have uh, come about now, it's the aggregation of marginal gains. So you just get little things, but if you put a lot of little things in place and you add them together, it's cumulative. So you, you put these things in the upper catchment, in the headwaters, and if you put enough of them in and add them together, the effect of them are felt for the full length of that river system. Absolutely all the way down through every community, every town, every village on the way down that's under, risk, under threat from flooding, right to the sea. Now, if you put hard flood defences in, the only place they have an effect is in the immediate surrounding area. So the cost-benefit analysis is cost high, benefits is how many houses there are around. So, you know, that's the cost-benefit analysis. And, but in the case of these little measures, the cost is relatively minor, but the benefits are the full way down the system. But as a lot of people are saying, oh, well, this won't work because it's, it's so small and you're only putting it into one little catchment. But if you look at the catchment of York, where it flooded really badly, look at the number of major rivers that are coming into that, the Swale and the Foss and so on. And if you go right up into the headwaters of those and start putting these small measures in quite cheaply, you make the difference all the way down to York. And although it's not going to protect it from every level of flooding, you could be lowering that flood peak by probably a foot, two foot. And that can be, make a massive difference. I mean, an inch of water in your house is a flood. It does all the damage, it ruins your carpets and your furniture and all the rest of it, and you might be out of your house for six, nine months. If you take that water down a foot, how many houses, extra houses have you protected? And if, if you've got to combine it with some hard flood defences, might, it might mean that those flood defences work more effectively for a much higher level of flood. Either that or if you're trying to build new ones, you might be able to build them to a lower level than you had to previously.